before going into prayer line, you know, when um, everyone started going in lines um, and like the line kept getting closer to me, I started feeling a lot of tightness and a lot of fear inside and like a lot of shaking. And uh, when I got up there and I noticed that he was coming closer to me, I felt like really tight and I felt myself like going be like going back yeah, going going back and basically didn't have any control over myself after that so when he was praying what happened instantly um right after the prayer right uh after he was he put his hand on my chest once he lifted it I felt um the pain and tightness lifting also Wow, and I know that there were, unfortunately we weren't able to get the video clip today, but through that you were screaming. Was that you? No, that was not me. But you were conscious of all that was happening? Yes, I knew all of it was happening. Okay, so after he finished with that prayer and declared you free, you said that there was this burden, this heaviness that lifted off. Yes. What were you experiencing before he declared you free in your life? What was going on? Uh, I felt a lot of loneliness and isolation and I also felt like there was like a wall standing in between my prayer life my education basically anything really that's in my life and so just to confirm and to tell everybody once you received prayer with Apostle John Sheehan uh, he declared you free you felt like that heaviness was lifted and did you see that breakthrough in your life afterwards Yes, I mainly saw it through my prayer life at first. Um, I began going to morning prayers, and I began attending Power of Evangelism. Now, the reason why I wanted her to share about her deliverance, because she said that she always thought when she heard Power of Evangelism, she thought it was a great idea, but something was stopping her from going. But right after you received that prayer, you went. Yes. Was it scary for you? Um, kind of. <laughs> But it was like, it was really awesome, a really good experience. So let's go and explain how that you went to the Power Evangelism and tell us a little bit what happened since it was your first time. Uh, basically, um, at first I was sort of just like watching everything happen, but then it got um, sort of near the end where we were like wrapping up everything. We um, had, I believe, a couple, um, someone uh, decided to go and see if they needed prayer. There was a lady who had back pain, um, mainly in her spine and neck pain and also shoulder pain. It was at a level 10. And uh, I had someone guide me through prayer. Um, I was the one who was uh, praying for her. It was honestly, it was so cool. <laughs> so tell us, you said that it was, it was so cool for you. What did it do for you after you saw that you, you were praying for her, but did she receive the healing? What happened? Um, I just, like, became, like, hungry for it, you know, wanting to see, like, more healings, more people, you know, coming to Christ, you know, knowing, like, his goodness. Yeah. And she received healing? Yes, she received healing. <laughs> Come on. Come on, you guys. Give God a hand of applause. This is an incredible testimony because right from the beginning, she was facing a lot of opposition. She was facing a wall that in education, in her spiritual life, like something was stopping her. There was a limitation. But this, two weeks ago, she received prayer with Apostle John Chi. And what happened? That limitation was lifted off. So don't ever, if there's something going on in your life, if there's a limitation, if there's something you can't get a, receive a breakthrough, we have to look and examine and see, maybe this is a spiritual issue. I need to come against it. I need to go to, the, to, to my church. I need to uh, be hungry to fight for it. And so she went to the prayer line and it was removed. And right as that uh, empty, not the emptiness, but the um, that spiritual wall that was she was facing, it was lifted off and immediately she went into power evangelism and now she's getting hungry more and more for God. That is our God. We can go from one level to another level and that is because of God's healing, of God's breakthrough that he can give us in our lives. Amen? So one other thing uh, to tell everybody, what would you advise those that are seeking a breakthrough or looking for a new level in their life? Uh, well, honestly, you just need to take the initiative. If you see 
that you are having problems in your life or you see that you're not moving forward, just know that that's not normal. That's like mainly like a spiritual thing and you should seek a uh, prayer, uh, try to get delivered. <laughs> and <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you, Jessica, so much.